Good day, fellow riders. Today is Friday, April 29, time check 5.13 in the afternoon. So for today's video, we're going to be making a walk around and a quick review of the newest Maxi scooter from Bristol Motorcycles, the Maxi 400. So what are you waiting for? Let's get it on. So the engine has 373cc liquid-cooled 4-stroke single-cylinder, 4 bulbs, dual overhead cam, and a Bosch EFI. Although the displacement is 373cc in the CR, it is registered as 400cc and it is an expressway legal motorcycle. So for the power, it can give you 29 horsepower at 7000 rpm and 33.5 newton meter of torque at 5000 rpm. So how about the top speed? Well, it can run at an average top speed of plus and minus 135 km per hour and it depends on the rider's weight and wind condition varies on top velocity. And vibration is very minimal during high speed and it feels very stable on the road. So for the average fuel consumption, it can go around plus and minus 25 km per liter and the fuel tank capacity is 17.3 liters. For the braking system, both front and rear are single disc brake and both are equipped with ABS. Front tire has 120 over 70 by 14 tubeless and the rear is 150 over 70 by 13. And on the front suspension, it has telescopic fork with rubber cover for dust protection. And the rear suspension, it has dual shock absorber with canister. Seat height is 730mm with ground clearance of 170mm. And the riding position is upright that makes it comfortable in any driving condition. So, bale, mag-start tayo sa kanyang mga switches dito sa right side ng kanyang handlebar. As you can see, meron siyang kill switch. And then, nandito rin yung starter. At saka yung headlight. On, off, may park light. And then, the hazard switch. Tapos yung kanyang uh, brake lever dito sa may right side ay adjustable na rin ayun, meron siyang mga pinipihiton na pwede mo siyang i-adjust so yung kanyang signal light flexible at LED na rin siya then the Maxi 400 logo wala siyang decal bali mga emblem lang ang nandun yung windshield ay adjustable na rin at may tatak na bristol and then yung kanyang ignition switch yan o keyless na rin sya at meron syang dalawang compartment na medyo malaki rin naman yung size at nilalak yung yung paglalaki yung t-twist mo yung parang may button may knob dun sa taas Bali, dalawa sila. So, try naman natin ang step board. Yung pa ako ay size 8.5 pet. Kasyang-kasya naman siya. Ngayon, tingnan nyo. Sukatin natin. Comfortable kang nakapak. At yung kanyang mating ay detachable rin. Ngayon, yung rubber niya. Then, yung side stand may switch na rin to, may sensor na rin na pag naka-stand at maganda rin ang quality ng kanyang foot pegs para sa passenger at ma mukhang matibay naman and then uh, makapal din ang kanyang center stand at mukhang matibay considering the weight of this uh, scooter na medyo may kabigatan din And this is the air filter. Uh, maganda ang pagkakagawa. At ayun na nga na din yung tatak na EFI liquid cooled. At dito yung CVT. At yung shock niya ay 
medyo mahaba yung rear shock may canister na rin so maganda talaga ang plane nito hindi lang sa city driving and also sa adventure At medyo may kataasan nga siguro nasa mga more than 12 inches ito susukatin mo yung estimate and then yung kanyang signal light na flexible din dito sa may rear pero siyang reflector then the classic uh, Bristol plate holder so yung kanyang tail light ay parang merong merong kaparehang design ng isa pang brand ng motor na hindi ko na lang sasabihin and then this brake din medyo malaki yung this brake nya sa likod ABS din ang mga ito so yung kanyang muffler ay medyo malaki at medyo malaki rin yung tunog so mamaya paanda rin natin para malaman natin yung tunog at medyo makapal rin ang pagkakapintura ng kanyang muffler na kulay silver at meron siyang protector dun sa side muffler guard na parang plastic pero yung sa baba metal at makapal din yung pintura then makikita rin natin yung kabilang matting dito sa side na uh, detachable makapal yung rubber so kanyang kulay na kulay gray so yung headlight nya ay napakagandang design na fully full LED at meron siyang adjustable windshield hindi ko lang ma-adjust dahil lawak nga yung camera at isang kamay lang ang aking nagagamit ngayon and then yun yung kanyang cover yung cover sa shock for dust protection Yan, medyo makapal naman yung goma nya at ma mahaba yung play so bali meron din na siyang reflector dun sa may shock at uh, safety picture din ito para visible ka sa daan at dito may magkikita kang big yung tuka na kadalasan ay magkikita mo sa mga adventure bike yun yung kanyang camera so dito naman sa sa left side ng kanyang handlebar makikita natin yung kanyang mga control sa mga switches yung busina yung yung kanyang signal then high and low at uh, na, na adjust din yung kanyang lever at meron din siyang passing light switch so yun yung kanyang push button keyless siya at dito yung tank so try natin siyang sakyan at subukan natin i-on para makita yung kanyang TFT display So yun na nga at nakikita natin yung napakagandang display ng kanyang TFT at makikita mo rito yung mga information about sa yung motorcycle So yun yung setting So pindutin natin yung mga yun yung camera nya at maliwanag yun yung pang connectivity battery voltage then tire pressure yun yung kanyang average distance then back to basic so napaka high tech talaga ng motor nito when it comes to features so advanced siya kumpara sa mga ibang naunang scooter 
dahil nga nag-improve na yung technology so every motorcycle na nilalabas ay may kanya-kanyang design so try natin yung kanyang signal light dito yan sa rear side Ayan, very visible naman then brake light So, try naman natin yung mga switches niya sa ilaw. Ba, yun yung high and low. And then, yun yung hazard. Yun, may kita mo dun sa dashboard niya. Yung hazard lights. And then, dito naman sa may front. Yan. Yan yung kanyang dating pag naka-hazard. So, try naman natin i-on yung headlight. Tsaka yung park light. So, makikita nyo yung high and low niya kung gaano kaliwanag. So, ito bali yung switch ng kanyang headlight. Meron siyang park light and then sa pinaka-headlight. Doon yung high and low. Yun. So, bali, pwede mo siyang patayin. Uh, pwede mong... Pwede. So, bali, may kita mo rito yung odometer reading niya. Nasa 234 kilometers pa lang itinatakbo. So, nasa break-in period pa lang ang Bristol Maxi 400 na to. So, try natin ulit tingnan yung kanyang TFT display dito. At pipindutin natin yung mga setting para makita ninyo. So, yan na nga. Bali yung... Ito, 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 ito yung kanyang pinaka-camera. Then yung connectivity. Then, pindutin natin ulit. Yung kanyang battery voltage at saka driving time. Then, yung maximum. May nakalagay doon, 150 km per hour. At yung average niya ng takbo ay 32 km per hour lamang. At meron siyang trip na 234.2 km. Then, yung tire pressure. So, mamamonitor mo rito. Kung gaano ba katigas o kalambot yung yung magulong. So, silipin naman natin ng kanyang fuel tank cover para makita nyo, ganito siya pag nakabukas at nandun yung control din niya dun sa may push button na ignition switch So, yung kanya namang seat ay medyo malapad at mapapansin nyo, meron siyang contour design dito At meron na rin siyang USB charging port dito para madali kayong makapag-charge in case na maglalong drive kayo. So, bali ang color ng Maxi 400 na ito ay glossy gray. Pero may mayroon din mga ibang available colors yan ng black, blue, at red. And one of the coolest part of this Maxi scooter ay meron siyang built-in na grab bar na pwedeng patungan mo ng top box. So, hindi ka na kailangan bibili pa ng carrier para maglagay ng top box. At yung nakalagay na top box ay 22 liters lang. At makikita nyo, bagay na bagay sa kanya at very cute. 
at medyo malapad din ng kanyang upuan at nakakadagdag ng comfort tuwing kayo ay magra-ride. So dito pinapakita ni Sir Julius kung paano bubuksan ng kanyang upuan. At yun, pipindutin mo lang yung remote at magbubukas na kusa yung kanyang upuan. Tingnan natin. Ayun, at bumukas na nga. At high-tech talaga. At dito mapapansin nyo na medyo malit lang yung kanyang compartment at hindi kakasya rito yung full face helmet or even half face hindi rin kakasya. Yun lang ang medyo downside ng scooter na to. Medyo malit yung kanyang compartment. Kaya kailangan mo talaga maglagay ng top box na at least 45 liters para meron kang paglagyan ng iyong helmet. So, dito ko natatapusin ang aking walk around and quick review sa Maxi 400. Special thanks to Sir Julius of Jack Moto, home of quality motorcycle gears and accessories at very affordable prices. Visit his store here in Balibago Branch, located just along the MacArthur Highway here in Balibago, Angeles City, just in front of Astro Park.